you can get these three things right, then you're completely off to the races. Today we talk YouTube partner program. Today I'm going to talk about how much money I've made on YouTube. In my We're introducing earlier access to the YouTube partner program. The channel you're watching this video on right now actually used to be monetized. I'll explain exactly how it got demonetized by one of YouTube's biggest creators in just a moment. I just ran an experiment to see if paying my way back into the YouTube partner program was actually worth it. What I discovered was a little shocking, as I have no doubt that hundreds of thousands of creators are making the exact same mistake I did with this experiment, and it could cost you a lot of money. Let's take a look. I'll never forget the day I got an email from YouTube about a video I had posted five years earlier, five whole years. At the time I posted it, I wasn't even trying to get into the YouTube Partner Program. To be honest, at the time, I really wasn't even quite sure I knew how getting paid for videos all worked on YouTube. But that random email notified me that one of the videos on my channel had racked up 50 $1,500 in ad revenue, and they were asking me if I wanted that money. Well, I think that's pretty clear. This meant having to join the YouTube partner program, which I did. And from that moment on, they started sending me regular monthly payments for the videos on my channel. Fast forward two years and the fun and excitement would all come to an end. My channel would suddenly go on to be demonetized through absolutely no fault of my own. I know you probably heard that from other people before, but I swear in my case, it's actually true. The man who brought my channel's monetization to an end is one of the biggest, most well-recognized YouTubers today. I had never met this man and I never interacted with him. So then how and why did he get me demonetized? Well, here's the story. In January of 2018, the man I'm talking about took a trip to Japan. While there, someone had tipped him off about a local forest that was notorious for what we'll refer to as self-deletion. Always eager to score cheap, easy views for ad dollars, this YouTuber visited the forest of self-deletion, and while there, he actually stumbled upon the body of someone who made the tragic decision to end it all early. In case you haven't guessed who I'm talking about yet, it's Logan Paul. I have been to Japan, so the day that I do go to Japan, I think I'm going to try to run the marathon. I've never been there either. Have you? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? I, I, I legitimately didn't did not think about the impact, also didn't really care. I think that's that was part of the, the, the Tokyo time. problem. It's not like I'm a bad guy. I, I am a good guy who made a bad decision. So if you look behind me, this is where you throw coins into the well. You make a wish and they come true. Long story short, Logan's actions set off such a flurry of rage and condemnation against YouTube that the company went into nuclear panic mode. Instead of just punishing Logan Paul, they demonetized hundreds of thousands of creators if their channels didn't have a thousand subscribers or 4,000 hours of watch time. Since that day, this channel went into a tailspin. I tried several different ideas, but largely abandoned this channel until recently when I decided to start back up again and taking a look into what paying YouTube for channel growth could actually do. I'm going in this with both good news and bad news. The bad news first. At the time of this experiment, I only had 986 hours of watch time out of the 4,000 hour required to get into the YouTube Partner Program. The good news is that I presently sit at 1,066 subscribers, so I at least have that part of the equation locked down. Over the past couple of years, I only posted three videos, mostly to get an idea of whether or not I could actually get any traction. None of those three videos did very well, and I decided to keep the channel on ice until I noticed that you could pay to do two things. One, get more subscribers, and two, get more views. Since I already had all the subscribers I needed to meet the threshold, I chose to go with paying for views to fatten up my watch time. Spoiler alert, this is a very expensive way to go. How expensive? Well, let's break it down. Given that there's no guarantee that your channel will be approved and allowed into the partner program, that's a risky bet. That's definitely not ideal, and I certainly won't be pursuing that option in the future. However, I did discover something very intriguing that will definitely help you if you're still trying to grow both your subscriber count and your watch time hours. I happen to be growing another YouTube channel right now, which I can't reveal what it is at this present time. But for that channel, I need subscribers more than I need watch time. And I paid to get those new subscribers. In total, I spent $120 to drive traffic to five videos for a period of 12 hours. In total, this paid traffic added 91.2 hours to my total watch time. This breaks down to a cost of 75 cents for each hour 
hour of watch time. So given where I'm presently at with my watch time score, it would cost me $2,271.75 to reach the watch time threshold to get back into the YouTube Partner Program. What I discovered is this, if you promote a video to gain more subscribers, you'll pretty much get the same amount of watch time as you would if you simply paid for views. The difference being, of course, that you get to gain more subscribers and you get to build your watch time too. I think the choice is pretty clear, isn't it? So if you choose to go with YouTube's pay to play option, I strongly advise you to go with the audience growth option. It's just a smarter way to go. In a future video, we'll talk about getting those subscribers off platform Form so that you make yourself demonetization proof and deplatforming proof. Very important. If you choose to try out the paid channels to grow your YouTube channel, I'd love to hear how things go. Please leave your results in the comments. I really look forward to your results. So thank you very much for watching. And if you'd like to see more videos about my quest to have my channel re-monetized, hit that subscribe button and I'll catch you in the next video.